Hello, Aiden. Hello, Morgan. I'm wearing a mic because I'm operating under the assumption that you'd like to be able to hear me. It's Thor's day because it's Thursday and a bunch of us decided to watch Thor. Today I'm going to talk about some stuff. Morgan, you said I remind you of Natalie Dawn. I don't know that much about Natalie Dawn, so I'm just going to assume that that's a compliment and say thank you. Also, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm extremely addicted to Coca-Cola. So you getting to go to the Coca-Cola factory makes me very jealous. Aiden, you challenged me to answer the question, if I were a shoe, what kind of shoe would I be? The honest answer is that I don't really know. I have trouble equating myself to inanimate objects, but if I had to pick a shoe, it would have to be a specific shoe. Like, I don't think I can pick a type of shoe. So I picked one of the shoes that I actually own. I just think it's really cute, and black and white is pretty much my favorite color combination, and someday I'd like to be a star. I hope that's sufficient enough an answer for you, because I'm afraid that's all I've got. So if you've been reading my text posts on Tumblr, then you'll know that I've got one assignment left and I will be done with college, potentially forever. So while that's super, super exciting and I'm really thrilled and I can't put into words how much stress will evaporate from my life when I graduate, it's also kind of sad. Over the past four years, I've really fallen in love with Eugene, all the people I've met here, and all the things that I've learned. So it's sort of sad in that sense that I'm about to lose the opportunity to learn about really anything that I'd like to find out about in a, in a collegiate atmosphere. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop learning because I think life is about learning. And the cool thing about where I'm heading with my life now is that I have no idea what I'm gonna be learning, whereas my whole life I've been a student and I've always had very specific goals regarding my education. So now, really, I'm just going to wing it and I have no idea where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do. That's not true. In the fall, I'm moving to L.A. with my brother who's going to law school there and I'm going to try and be an actor. Because I am doing agency. Mine died. Like, Your agency died? No, my camera died. Your cam oh, that sucks. Good luck. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's all. Okay. Have fun. That's Dean, he's the one who was watching Thor. And I just wanna say a few words about how much I've learned over the last four years, how much I've grown, how much you guys out there in the internet have taught me. I think I may have learned as much or more talking to all you people <laughs> who just love the same things that I do. I might have learned more from you than I've learned from school. So I'm really, really grateful for that. There are so many topics that I didn't even know existed that it turns out I'm really passionate about. And really I should blog about those more because I almost never talk about them on my Tumblr. So maybe I'll start talking about that stuff more. We'll see, I don't really have a plan to, but it's important to me so it might just end up filtering through whatever I say on Tumblr. I think when I entered college, it's safe to say that I was not the person I am now. I think my personality is the same and my desire to learn and to be involved in things that are awesome and to make creative stuff, I think that's all the same. That hasn't changed so much as it's been cultivated um, at college. But what I think has changed is that I'm more able to feel comfortable with being who I am and to express the fact that I am an absolute geek slash nerd, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care about the label, though personally I identify myself as a geek. I've come to realize that it's cool to be smart and it's cool to be interested in things that are creative and are made well and inspire cre creativity in others. If a creative work inspires creativity in others, it's probably good. Uh, that's why I love things like OK Go and Sherlock and Doctor Who and the Aberat book series because when I when I engage in that kind of thing it makes me want to make stuff and it makes me want to be a better more creative person and I think that's one of the highest compliments that you can give to a an artist or a work of art is that it makes you want to better yourself and I'm really excited to have this platform now for the summer to just talk about things that I've been thinking about and hear you guys talk about what you think about the things that I've been thinking about or that you've been thinking about that we've as a collective been thinking about for now I don't think I have a whole lot more to say I need to get this edited and put up so that I can do my final feature story and get that turned in so I can be done with college and I'll be free to pack Morgan I challenge you to answer one of the questions that Aiden posed in her video I'll see you tomorrow and Aiden I will see you on Saturday